guys, this is Elise, and we are back from the expo. And I wanted to just come and show you guys what I picked up because I know a lot of you are going to go tomorrow and go on Thursday. And I'm referring to the Scrapbook Expo that was held um, this weekend in Anaheim, California. Um, this is the start of the expo, and um, it was today, and it's going to be tomorrow and on Sunday. No, not Sunday, Saturday. So um, if you're in the uh, California area, Southern California area, and you have a chance, chance to go, go check it out because um, it was it was pretty good. We had a lot of fun. Laura and I went, and we didn't stay very long. We actually had a list of um, things that we wanted to look for, and we found some of those things and found the other few goodies too. So, um, so here's the program, not the program, but the little brochure that they gave us for the expo. And then in the inside, there's a map that shows you all of the vendors and booths that are there. There were some, a lot from last year, but there were also a few new ones. So I got that, I picked that up. And then um, when you also registered, they gave you a pack of these glue dots, which I kind of like these. I didn't use all of the ones that I got last time, but, um, but I do like them. So that was a nice little freebie. And then I'm gonna show you the things that I got, but I'm not gonna show you them in, in any particular order. And um, I'm not sure if I can remember where, in which booth I got things from, but I just wanted to show you what I got. So one of the booths I went um, to, I found this antique doily die, and this was something that was on my list. I wanted to find some dies, so I got this one, and as you can see, it was only nine dollars. So I thought that was pretty good. So we're going to play around with cutting um, some dies because Laura, she bought a few and I bought some new dies. And so we're going to do some cutting this evening. So anyway, so I got that one. I thought that was really pretty. And then I picked up um, a new La La Land stamp. And this is Picture Perfect Mar uh, Marcy. And I think she is so cute. And I think she's new. So I got her. And so I'm excited about coloring her and, and piecing her together. So I got her. I thought that was really cute, and then, um, and then from that same booth, I picked up these um, these Polaroid um, um, canvas Polaroid pieces, which I thought these were really cute, and these are by um, Maggie Holmes, which I've never heard of that company before, but I thought those were adorable, and they are, I believe, let's see, I think they're four by four. Um, not four by four, five and a half by five and a half or five by five or something like that. I'm not sure, but they will fit on the front of a six by six card and um, you get 12 and here are the, the different designs and there is a paper line to match these, but I didn't get the paper. I just really wanted these. I thought these were so cute. So I'm really excited about making a card with those. So I got those and then let's see what else did I get. Um, of course we stopped by Want to Scrap and got some bling, and this is the bling that I picked up. I picked up a few of these packs. I picked up, um, some of the pearl. I picked up a couple of those, and then I picked up that same pack in just the rhinestone, which that's really pretty. I should hold this this way so you guys can see. I picked up a couple of these. And then I picked up this um, Say With Pearls, this one. That's really pretty. I picked up that. And then I picked up just a, a pack of the single pearls in different sizes. And I picked up this one in pink. And I also, I thought these were really cute. I picked up these hearts. And these are, um, this is one of the nestabilities, which I don't have this nestability, but I thought this would be really cute to put on a card. You know, just use the maybe the larger to put around something. I thought that was really cute. So I'm going to try that and see if I can use that on something. So I got those. And those are all a dollar um, each. So I got those. And then I went to um, another booth called um, It's Cheaper. Let's see. It's Cheaper Than Therapy. And they had dyes. And, but I didn't get dyes because I had already picked up some um, Sizzix dies from another um, booth, but I did get this. I thought this was really cute. It's a Sizzix stamp, circle stamp, and this was 75% off, so I got this for like $4. So this one says, um, celebrate your day, love, 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 um, best wishes to you, and also just to know. I thought that was really cute. And then on the back, it shows a little sample of a card that you can make where you can actually punch like a circle and put something in the middle. So I thought that was really cute. 
So I got that. And then I went to another booth called Splash of Color. <clears throat> um, Splash of Color. And here it is right here. They have an online store. And then what for, I picked up some papers, some 6 by 6 papers. And I had never seen this before. I got this one. It's called Ragamuffin, which I thought was adorable. And um, I thought this was really cute paper. So I got this one. And this was buy two, get one free. And um, I got this one, which I think is really pretty. I got this one. And, and this is what these papers look like. I thought this was really pretty paper. So I got, I got that one. And then I was so excited to see this one. It's just a paper pad of gingham, which I love gingham, as you some of you know. And it's double-sided as well. So I got this one, and I actually have a swap that I'm in over at Your Paper Pantry. It's an altar muffin tin. And so this is going to come in handy because I'm going to use this. And that's what I was thinking about when I picked that up. And so um, so I picked that up. And then I went to um, Scrapper's Outlet. And I got a couple of uh -oh, got a couple of things there. And here's the card for that one. Scrapper's Outlet. And they sold Sizzix dies. And this is where I picked up the Sizzix dies. And I got, and they were buy one, get one half off. So I picked up this one. And um, one of my local scrapbook stores, they do have that deal every day, but they don't always have the dies that I'm looking for. So I was excited to get this one because I've been looking for this die for, for a while. So I, I got this one. And this one, you can even cut um, felt with this one. So I'm going to make, make some felt flowers with this. So I might try that this evening. And then I picked up this one. I thought this was really cute too. And this is another one that I've been wanting. So I got this one, the little bird on the branch. And I even thought that it would be cute to cut this and then cut some felt flowers and, and put that on the card. I thought that would be really pretty. So anyway, so I got that. And then they had stickles. And I picked up a couple of my favorite stickles. I got the icicle. And I got the, um, I got crystal. So I don't use a lot of stickles. Um, but the ones that I do have, they're more like these colors so that I can just, um, you know, glink, uh, glitter up some flowers. So I got a couple of bottles of those. And then I picked up, let's see what else did I get. I got, um, mm, oh, I got this. I'm not sure what booth this was at, but um, there was a booth that had some of the new Prima out. And I got this. And this is a tag pad. And you get 48 tags. And they're really, really thick. Let me show you guys. Let me take it out. And just Laura's going to give me one because she bought some too. And here it is right here. It looks like this. And they're all the same. But it looks like this, but it's nice and thick. It's nice and heavy. So these are going to make some really, really cute tags. And you get 48 in the pack. So I'm really excited about making a tag. Actually, Laura's sitting over at my table um, making a tag right now using one of her, um, her tags. So... I'm excited to see what she creates. I know it's going to be beautiful. So, but anyway, I thought that was really, really cute. And they had um, other uh, new Prima items out as well. So, um, but this is the only thing that, that I picked up. So I got that. So I thought that was cute. And then I went to the Melissa Francis um, booth. And I got, um, let me show you guys. Now, this is kind of big, but I'm going to try to show it to you. Because I'm going to put this in my scrap space. I thought this was really pretty, and she only and she had this for nine dollars. Okay, let me show you guys what it is. It's this. Um, oh gosh, how can I show this without it? It's really big. It's a chandelier. I'm gonna lift up my camera off of my tripod just so you guys can see this better. Okay, let me see if I can lift it up high. Can you guys see that? It's a chandelier. I don't know if I can show them Laura this, but I'll just go like this and show you guys. It's really big. Probably should have put it up on the wall and showed it to you. But it has bling hanging and it's really distressed and it's actually really, really pretty. And she had um she had these, the chandeliers, and she had the she had crowns. And they were only nine ninety nine. And um pardon? Regular thirty. They were regular thirty dollars. So she had these marked to nine ninety nine. And for those of you that um you know go to her booth looking for the dollars 
um, deals, she really didn't have any. The only thing she had was um, there were a couple of bins with dollar um, ribbon, and that was about it. So I was a little... You know, a little disappointed with the Melissa Francis booth because I was looking for, you know, more deals. But I was happy when I got this because I thought this was really, really pretty. So anyway, so that's my haul from the Scrapbook Expo. I did really well keeping to my budget and not overspending. And I'm really happy with the things that I got. And I hope you guys find some really fun things too. And looking forward to seeing your haul videos. And and we saw, um, I want to uh, give a shout out to someone. Um... In our last video that Laura and I did, we said that if you saw us there, to say hello. And Jerry, Jerry, I don't know your YouTube um, name, but Jerry came up to us. She recognized us, and she said hi. So hi, Jerry. Thanks so much for um, saying hi to us. We actually saw her at the Melissa Francis booth. So hi, Jerry. So if you um, see this video, Jerry, um, leave a comment so I'll have your um, YouTube um, channel. So, um, all right, guys, thank you guys for watching. And when Laura gets home, she'll be doing her video as well. And, um, we have lots of other things to show. All right. Okay. Take, take care. And, oh, remember guys, tonight is the last night to, um, upload your video response for my giveaway. It ends tonight, um, at midnight, uh, Pacific time. So if you haven't done your um, car yet, you still have time. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.